Hey makers this is Truveen and I welcome you all to Power Ups component step by step series you are watching second episode of this series and in this episode I am going to talk about how we can use behavior property with Power Ups component this is one of the most important property that we can leverage with our component so let's get started and talk more about that thing in detail also if you wanted to visit my earlier episode of Power Ups component the links are available in the description box so do check it out one more important announcement if you haven't followed me on instagram and twitter so far do follow me the instagram and twitter id is available here or maybe in the description box also at the end of the video we will play one quiz and one lucky winner will get a shout out as well as certificate of appreciation from my end so play a quiz and answer in the comment section so without further delay let's get started and talk about behavior property with power apps component here i am on my machine and here i have opened one of the canvas app and over here you can see this is one pop up component i have created now in the pop up component basically i want this entire pop up to be configurable i need this pop up header pop up message and pop up button section to be configurable so how we can achieve that in this episode we are going to talk more about that thing in detail so at the end of this video we will create this kind of pop up where we have both the property configurable which are header and description also when user click on okay basically it will execute the okay button code and same way if we click on cancel it will execute the cancel button code also if you haven't visited my earlier video where i have created my first power apps component please do visit that from there you will get a better context and you can connect more with this particular video the link for the earlier video is available in the description box so without further delay let's get started and create our pop up component in my earlier video i talked about how we can create input and output property for one of the left navigation same process we follow to generate the pop up so let's get started so here i have opened my new component library so this is the same component library that we have created in our earlier episode now to create the new component i will add the new component in the same component library so click on new component and now that will add one component over here now let's provide the name of our component so i am providing the name of my component is cm pop up component so let's just rename that and that will look like this now let's just decrease the height of this component screen so let me just decrease the height up to 300 pixel and that will look like this now to create the pop up we need to add two labels and two buttons so let's add that so i'm going to insert menu and i'm going to add one label i'm going to add one more label and now let's add two buttons so i'm adding this first button and now adding the second button now let's change the text property of the button so over here this is my cancel button so let's change it as cancel and over here this is my okay button so let's change the text as okay and now let me just change the color as well so for cancel button i wanted to have red color so let's just have the red color variant and for this one let's have the green color variant so i'm just changing that and similar way let's just select this entire component and let's just change the background property so i'm just changing the background like this so this will look nicer like this now over here basically we need to provide the message so let's provide the message to provide the configurable message basically we will create the input property so what is input property so whatever the input that we wanted to pass from end user to our component that is called as input property so for that select your component click on custom property and now over here just create the input property called pop up message so just provide the name of the property pop up message 
and its type is text right so let's create that and similar way we want to create pop-up header so let's provide pop-up header and that is also the input property and let's click on create now let's provide the appropriate message so just click on pop-up header and uh, we, we can just provide a message over here as confirmation pop-up so I'm just providing this text over here and same way in the message I want to ask like do you want to navigate do you want to navigate right so this is the sample message I'm providing now let's assign the input property to our labels so let's select this label and select the text property now assign the input property over here so my pop-up name is cmp pop-up and its input property that we just define as header right so you need to provide cmp pop-up dot pop-up header so you know this will look like this now over here we need to provide the message so cmp pop-up dot pop-up message right so this will look like this now uh, let's just reduce the font from here so i'm just making the font as 18 and this looks like this right so we have created our pop-up now the thing is that i want to create some events like when user click on ok i want to redirect the user to the new page and in the same way when user click on cancel they should be stay on the same page so how can i do that for that basically we need to write some power fx code earlier this feature was not available we cannot write any custom event on our components control now we have a flexibility that on ok and on console we can create our own custom event and write the power fx code in our canvas screen so how can i achieve that let me talk about that for that we need to introduce behavior property in our component this behavior property is something which is in preview at this moment for that you need to enable one feature for that let me just save my power apps and now let's go to the settings and over here go to the upcoming feature and select the experimental feature now over here search for the component and you will find a property enhance component properties just turn it on once you turn it on the behavior property will be available for you let's close it and now let's click on new custom property once you select that you will be able to see the third property which is behavior property if we read the description of our behavior property it is clearly saying that this type of property can trigger an action outside of the component in the app that is cool now let's define the behavior property for both the button so first of all i am creating a property for ok button click so i am just defining a event on ok click and let me just keep its property type as behavior and from return type let's select text and click on create same way we need to create cancel click so click on new custom property and just define on cancel click and over here let's just define the property type as behavior and return type as text and we are good now after creating this behavior property we need to associate this event with the button for that click on the ok button and write the event over here that cmp popup dot which event we have defined that is on ok click so let's just register this event over here right and we are good same way cancel is something right on select property that is your component id that is cmp popup dot on cancel click so whatever code you will write over there into this but event basically it will trigger the on select of the button right 
So we are done with the component creation part. We have created two input property and two behavior property. Now it's time to save and publish this code. So I'm just going to save and publish. Now let's go to our canvas app. So I'm opening my canvas app. I'm going to create a new screen over here. And now I need to add that component first. For that I'm going to insert menu and click on get more component. And over here from YT components, I need to select my CMP pop-up component. So this is the component we just added. So let's import that and that will appear under the library component. So let's select that. Let's expand and this is CMP pop-up. Now let's drag that onto the screen and that is looking like this. So the pop-up component is being created successfully. Now we need to provide the input message and header whatever you want to change. So let's say for an example confirmation pop up for this particular screen screen one. So I'm just changing the header as screen one and you can see this header message is being changed and over here as well in the message. I just wanted to change a message a bit that are you sure and then I'm adding this one more line so this will look like this so this message is configured now let's say on ok click uh, i just wanted to need a success notification and on cancel i need the cancel notification so we define the behavior property and now we need to write a power fx code inside the app so let's select this component over here you can see two behavior property that we define so let's click on on ok click and now on OK click, let's just uh, uh, write some line of code that is notify. And if you want to use navigate code, you can use that as well. It's totally up to you what type of code you want to type here. If you even want to store your record inside the database, you can write the patch function as well on the button. So it's totally up to you. So over here, I am typing a code notify success and notification type is success. So let's just type notification type dot success and let's complete the code and same way let's define the cancel click so I'm clicking on here on cancel click and same way let's notify with error notify and over here I need to use cancel and let's say the notification type is error right so we are good now it's time for tasting so let me just click on ok button and you can see you can see the success message like this and same way let me click on cancel and it will show the error message like this so this is how the behavior property will work into your power apps component from here you can get to know that how based we can utilize the behavior property on our component and we can write the event inside our apps this feature was something which was not available earlier and now with this preview this capability is available and which enhance the component functionality so with this i covered almost everything about the behavior property now in my next episode i am going to talk about how we can create our own custom function using power apps component so stay tuned now it's time to play a quiz if you wanted to give the answer of the quiz questions please answer only in the comment section if you want to give the answer of question 1, type Q1, A, B, C or D, Q2, A, B, C or D. So now let's get started. The first question is, how can we define custom events using components? Using input property, using output property, using behavior property or none of above. So answer in the comment section. The second question is, behavior property allows user to write the custom PowerFX code inside the canvas app. Is this statement true or false? Just answer in the comment section. And one lucky winner will get a appreciation certification as well as shout out from my Instagram and YouTube page. So keep answering in the comment section. With this, we have covered everything about the behavior property inside the Power Apps component. If you are for the first time to my channel, Make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for Hindi content on Power Platform, 
This is the dedicated channel Digital Thruvin which I have created where I am uploading short content on Power Platform. So do subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well. If you are interested for any training or consultancy, here is the website. If you want to follow me on all my social media handles, this is the link. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram using the link provided here. If you are interested for audio podcast related power platform, do follow me on my podcast platform. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.